Now, I'm gonna play this video right now, okay? He's first joined by the SACP's first Deputy General Secretary, Soli Mapaila. Good evening, Mr. Mapaila. Thanks very much uh, for coming through. You know, in, a, in an inset we've been playing for uh, most of uh, today, we have Wallace's daughter saying, yes, he did what he did, but he's been in jail for nearly 25 years. Why can't you forgive him? Well, it's not... Now, this goes into um, uh, Wanus Walus. The guy that killed Chris Han, okay, is Polish. So he's, a, he's Amalek. So the people are saying, I think what the, his daughter is saying, no, he must be forgiven. He's been 25 years into prison. Listen, you know how many of our brothers are, and sisters are in jail today for something they did not do and they got in life imprisonment? Now, they want the public to feel sorry for this demon white man who killed one of our one of our brothers you know during the time of apartheid chris Han, you understand so they want this guy because i think he applied for parole he applied to be released he says now he's changed his life now he went back to his catholic roots that's even worse a question of forgiveness it's a question of repentance on his side uh, being remorseful and he has not demonstrated that and it's also a question of uh, defending our right to exist as, as communists, uh, our ideology, because uh, in his uh, papers, in, the, in fact, uh, it does indicate that whilst uh, in some other papers that he had made, which we also feel that uh, were self-serving papers for the purpose of him uh, getting the parole through the ticket box process, where he does indicate that uh, he's still committed to his ideology of hating communists. Now, we don't want uh, anyone to hate communists, and therefore, if he comes out, he can still reorganize. But in any case, if you look at the court process that sentenced him, sentenced him to death, he should be grateful that through us, our liberation movement, for which uh, Comrade Christian belonged to, we banned the death penalty, and his uh, death sentence was commuted to life imprisonment. And for him in, uh, to, to come out in, an, in a very nefarious manner is completely unacceptable. That is why we had wanted him to follow th a, a proper process, to engage with the family, to engage with the party, and to be remorseful properly, and he hasn't shown that. Immediately, he sent us that particular letter. He put that process into the parole application to say he has communicated with the family and the Communist Party. So that we could see it was not a genuine, it was actually self-serving interest because he wanted to meet the deadline for parole application. So his uh, pronouncement through the legal team that is remorseful is completely untrue. He hasn't demonstrated that. And in fact, uh, this only happened even uh, for that matter after 20 years and all these many other years, he has been quite repentant that uh, 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 he, he's, he's not, uh, he doesn't see anything wrong that he has done and that actually could repeat it. In any case, he's... Mm. he's so for 20 years in prison, he didn't feel any remorse whatsoever for what he did for killing uh, Chris Han. So for 20 years, he says he could even repeat it. Now, the last 10 years, because now, I mean, the last is, he's in the last 10, he's 68 years old now. Okay, now he's feeling remorseful. Listen, he don't mean nothing he's saying. That's why he says, therefore the law is slacked and judgment does never go forth. Meaning true and just judgment doesn't go forth, why? For the wicked does compact about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeded. You see that? Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 4. Read. Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeds. You see what the Bible is saying? It says, therefore the law is slacked. So in this land, the law is slacked. Because the wicked is bearing rule, that's why now the earth is mourning right now because of that. Because just judgment does not go forth. The decision to parole Chris Hani's killer has been met with an emotional reaction. Janusz Walusz has served nearly 30 years of his life sentence for the 1993 assassination of the anti-apartheid icon outside his East Rand home. 
Hani's wife, Limpo, has lashed out at today's ruling. She's accused the Constitutional Court of being a dictator. In 2020, Walush was denied parole by Justice Minister Ronald Lamola. That decision has been set aside and the department has 10 days to release him. ENCA's senior journalist, Aviwe Mtila, was in court and has the story. I don't really give a shit because this court has not even addressed the victims. I don't exist. He is busy giving us a lecture about a Polish man who came to South Africa to kill my husband. An emotional Dimpo Hani, just moments after South Africa's apex court ordered Justice Minister Ronald Lamola to release her husband's killer. The Constitutional Court has set aside the minister's 2020 decision refusing parole, saying it was irrational. On a Come way to forward, me right? after two years. Karma exists. All of them there, sitting there, from Zondo downwards. This judgment is diabolical. Mm. Totally diabolical. I've never seen anything like this. And my understanding of Zondo's judgment, as he was talking, indirectly he says, Walus did well to kill my husband. Now let me tell, give you free information. If my husband was not killed, would never have had elections. Mandela, after my husband was murdered, said to the clerk, for us to stop this, give us election date. That's why Zondo and his friends today are sitting in this court. Justice has given birth to injustice today. In jail, Janus Walush even attacked other prisoners. One prisoner has even a picture of Nelson Mandela. He attacked it. How is that remorseful? How is that uh, been uh, 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 reconstructed? He didn't. And we have proven that to court throughout the trial process. The Justice Department says it will apply its mind to the judgment. We've noted the court's decision. We'll have to really look at it carefully to understand um, the basis for those conclusions and then we'll have to, to apply it where we can. Um, but yeah, that, that's the long and short of it. The decision has been made by the court and we'll have to consider it and apply it. The South African Communist Party that Chris Honey helmed says it's also considering its options. We shall mobilize because obviously ours is being on the ground. So we'll meet on the ground with them. What does that mean? No, we'll meet on the ground. The ground is clear. What do we mean? We're on the ground. We'll meet on the ground. That's where we mobilize our people. That's where we mobilize society. Valus was eligible for parole as far back as 2005. This, says Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, needs to be weighed against the crime that was meticulously executed almost three decades ago. Aviwem Tila, Johannesburg. Habaku, chapter 1, verse 4. Read. Therefore, the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeds. You see what the Bible is saying? It says, therefore, the law is slacked. So in this land, the law is slacked. Because the wicked is bearing rule, that's why now the earth is mourning right now because of that. Because just judgment does not go forth. The law works in their favor. When they kill, guess what? They get away with it. Because the law is, was written when we were in slavery to support them and their wickedness and to get away with, with, with wickedness. That's what we're reading here. That's why it says, therefore the law is slacked and judgment does never go forth. Meaning true and just judgment doesn't go forth. Why? For the wicked does compact about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeded. You see that? 